Hey everybody, it's me, Nathan Crash, and today I'm playing the Crooked Man again. This is part six in the series. In the last episode, I met the Crooked Man again, and he bodied me. But I bodied him back, so it's okay. So we're going to be starting on chapter three or something. Yeah, I think that's what it's like, chapter three. I don't know. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we found uh, Sissy's box. Uh, and there was an address in it, and it was for this place. So, we're here now. Man, this place is far. That took almost an entire day. We're gonna be in some creepy-ass building by ourselves all night. So, this looks like the place. Looks like oh, this school is abandoned. I think this is the school that we... the, pam the This is the school that we saw in the pamphlet that we found in our room. No one around, though I guess... They'd be inside anyway. Let's see if I can even enter. Julius Stone Law School. Yeah, see, that was right. Set for demolition, no entry. Hey, this is the school from the leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Told you. Uh, I can't go in. Oh, it's just the men's bathroom. The women's bathroom. The way to the lecture hallway is locked. A fire extinguisher exam results. Dude, what the fuck? What? Key? The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key by it. Got the infirmary key. So I have to find the infirmary. Let's see if I can find anything useful in here. The nameplate reads Yuji McGuire. Trash cans overflowing. A copy machine. Now this is about keys. Room managers for the month. Don't lose the keys. Parlor, Stacy Lizzie, reference room, Ray Twa Twain, lecture halls, John Keith, computer room, Franz Moore, lecture room, Cindy Peterson, storehouse, Yuji e McGuire. So it wasn't at his desk, because we just seen Yuji. Nameplate name reads Lefty Lewis. Ray Twain, Cindy Peter. So all these people were supposed to have the key. Lined with reference books. Cardboard. It's completely dark out. Alright, so hopefully we don't run into the, the crooked boy for a while. Because I'm not trying to deal with his shit. Um, we're just going to take our time. Hopefully we... Oh, we found a note. Memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the eastern bookshelves in the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Deep fissure? That's like my room. My room has a big ass wall like a hole, hole in the wall like that. A list of faculty. Criminal law. John Keith. Civil law. Andrew Robertson. International law. Cindy Peterson. Criminology. Franz Moore. Philosophy of law is Lefty Lewis. <laughs> Lefty. Legal history, Ray Twain. Com comparative jurisprudence, uh, Yuji, Yuji McGuire. Dr. Stacy Lewis. So these are all teachers, not, I thought they were like students. But I guess that doesn't make sense. Unlock the infirmary. Oh, we're up to the hood rat stuff now. So why did I need to be up in here? Book about medical treatment. Found the parlor key in one of the drawers. Oh. So. So now. We should probably save. Just in case the crooked boy shows up to spank our cheeks. I got a little fly in here. Just buzzing around bothering me. It's been distracting the dog shit out of me. So we're going to go to the basement. Because that's usually where the parlor's at. It's trash cans and sh Yeah. The basement reference room is blocked from the other side. Alright. <coughs> oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Was, was someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. I thought it looked like me, 
That's why I kind of freaked out because I was confused. Um, that was weird. I'm not going that way. You're fucking crazy. Reference room. It's locked, of course. Computer room. It's also locked. The parlor. Let's go open this parlor, though. Found the key. Give me the key. Uh, li, li, Lilo, Lu, Lilo, Lilo. Wait, I, uh, I have no idea what this is trying to say to me. Give me a sec. Yeah, I don't know what Lilo Lu. What's this? I, I guess it's wire art or something. Not sure what it's supposed to be though. Apparently, it was made by Ray Twain, one of the lecturers. Le, lo, 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 lu. I don't know. That's confusing. Clock stop. All right. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on. Let's go check out that fuck. That spoopy ass ghost me. Lefty Lewis. Box of tools. Got a screwdriver, a crowbar, and a hammer. At least we can defend ourselves from the crooked boy again. A lot of books, a lot of shelf, a lot of trash, a lot of chair, a lot of fridge. There's nothing in the fridge though. The drawer held, holds miscellaneous things. This one also holds miscellaneous. What the what the hell am I doing in here? Paper about topics covered in an exam. All right. So this box got opened. Open security box. Books. More books. And I'm even a more of books. What the heck? I'm gonna save again because I feel like we're gonna get murdered again. Ray Twain. Alright, Ray's room. Yeah. Security box that requires a passcode. I don't know the passcode, bro. Yeah, no, I don't know what it is. No power. Let's see if it's in his notebook. It looks like some sort of diary. Indeed, law two needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on and off, zero or one can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem, though perhaps it's more than than the artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. All right, he's a he's a goober. David, why does this law school have math books? Boy, I'm terrible at math. Okay. <clears throat> oh, okay. So four, so fifteen. I already know. All right. So he's. The code's in binary, so get off, get away from me. So it was law, lolly, low, lolly, low. So it's one, one, one. It was three, so it was hello, one, oh, one. So that's five. Uh, so it's one, one, five, fifteen. So I, I know it's fifteen. Oh, uh, law low. So one. So five. Five two fifteen. I don't know. Well, I might have to go back downstairs. Yeah, we're going downstairs. Load of books. All right, so we're gonna leave. Get murdered by the crooked boy. Where is the room? It was 
It was the parlor, right? The parlor had the... So 10, 10, LOL, and then four, Ten one oh one and four ones. Alright, so ten is okay, ten is two. Oh okay, so it's just twenty five fifteen. I swear I did oh no, I might have done that the other way. Twenty five fifteen. E there's a key to the reference room inside, so that's down on the first floor. Franz Moore. Another passcode. Load of books. Nothing in here. Some sort of diary. All right. I lost the note with my security password, so I couldn't get into the computer room, and the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I, I thought I had it when I was writing when I was writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow? Maybe I should go look. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. Of course, if you use a ran just use a random number, then you have my problem. So, who, who, Andrew? Andrew was the one? So Andrew's, Andrew's box is the same as his ID, okay. Yeah. yeah, no crooked boy so far. No crooked dad. All right. Um, water won't come out. Cleaning tools. Were we in here at all? Copy machine. Lots of books. Lots of books. Security books. Lots of other... Looks like some sort of diary. Michael's dissertation made it into a scientific magazine. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class, he'd be a prodigy. I also realized that he and I have the same birthday. And I use my birthday as a security code. So I feel like maybe I should change it. So Michael, who is this? Who's, whose diary is this? Okay, so I wish I was taking notes. Cindy's day's birthday is the same day as Michael and Andrew. Andrew's locked with a six digit pin. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. John Keith. Ooh, documents are strewn on the desk. The key to the room is among them. The key to John Keith's room. Ooh, John Keith's room. We get to look at his at his underwear. And see what kind of weird porn he watches. Looks like some sort of notebook. Tell me there's birthdays in here, bro. Times are changing. Our existing laws cannot serve us anymore. We must sur surpass the father of our law and find the true answer. He's got daddy issues. Another passcode. Dude, jeez. So, John Keith's room. C Cindy. Cindy. Oh, fucking bitch. <laughs> ow, ow. Hey, who was that? It was the crooked boy. Oh, no, it's not crooked boy. Who you be? Who do you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Oh, fuck. Sh shady punk? I was just looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Jesus, fucking spider climbing right on me. <laughs> this is some real Halloween shit right now, dude. I'm trying to play this spooky-ass game. I got spiders crawling on me. Give me a name or I'm, or I'm calling the police on you. That was a really big spider, dude. It was huge. <laughs> Alright. Well, he's dead. He's, like, all over my hands. Dude, he, like, splattered all over the place. Dude, he was a big... I don't know if I can put this video up now. I don't know if that counts as, like, like, um, animal cruelty. I hope it doesn't, because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I was just protecting myself. <clears throat> David Hoover. Oh, right, back to reading again. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who, who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. At least I don't think. 
I'm just taking stuff. <laughs> hmm, you sure? As if a robber would say they're one. Well, what do you want? A permit? No, no, you tell me who you are if you're gonna ask me. I'm D. D Ryder. <laughs> I graduated from the school, so I came back. I came to bring back some memories. D, that's your name? Not actually. Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but it's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell some shady guy my real name? <laughs> what a little brat. <clears throat> but I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. Dang, Gary Oak, bro. What the hell's his problem? Didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. That's like the most anime thing I think they've said in this whole game. Dang, that was pretty gnar gnar. You know, I'm a little shaken up after that spider attack. <clears throat> I think I'm going to call it here, bro. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. So, I don't know. Be sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. If you have any suggestions for games that you'd like to see me play, you know, just shoot down in the comment section. If I'm, I mean, it doesn't have to be a horror game. I just happen to be playing horror games. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Share this with your friends, your mom, your grandma, and like, you know, with your uncle or something. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Have a good day and try not to get bodied. Bye-bye.